Hi, uh, hello there and uh, welcome back to another video about uh, Git uh, version control system. So uh, with this video I am going to focus on uh, two important uh, concepts called uh, tracking and uh, staging. So uh, each and every uh, file inside a uh, Git uh, working directory can be in uh, one of two different states, tracking and uh, untracking. So uh, basically uh, tracked files uh, are uh, all files that uh, were available in the last uh, version of a snapshot as well as uh, other different uh, newly added uh, and uh, staged files and those same files uh, can be unmodified, modified and uh, staged. So uh, basically uh, tracked files uh, are uh, all files that uh, Git knows about. And uh, on the other side uh, untracked files uh, are basically all other files that uh, are available in your uh, current uh, git uh, working directory but uh, that uh, were not available in your uh, last uh, snapshot version nor in your uh, staging area. And before I show you some uh, practical examples in uh, git command line uh, first I want to show you one uh, very interesting uh, image which represents the actual uh, life cycle of uh, all your uh, git files. Okay, so now here we can see the actual image that represents the actual life cycle of the status of our files. Now first, uh, here uh, we can see untracked files. So uh, untracked files are uh, those files that uh, are uh, inside our uh, working directory, but that uh, are not uh, still added to our uh, staging area, okay? Now uh, unmodified files are actually the files that uh, are uh, being tracked by our uh, git uh, version control system and those files are actually in idle state and not uh, modified, okay? Now whenever we uh, modify uh, one of those uh, files uh, that we are tracking with our uh, git uh, version control uh, then that uh, file will receive the status of a uh, modified, okay? And after we modify that uh, file that uh, file uh, will not be staged anymore so if you want to stage that uh, modified file uh, then you are going to need to actually add that file into a staging area. Now uh, whenever we uh, add some file to our staging area that doesn't mean that we have uh, committed that file. So if we want to commit uh, our file that uh, has been staged uh, then we can call our uh, git uh, commit command and actually commit that file to our repository. And then after we commit that file, uh, then that uh, file will receive this uh, unmodified state. Now uh, in all those uh, three steps, like uh, unmodified, uh, modified and uh, staged, we are actually tracking uh, our files, right? But with this uh, first uh, step, untracked, we are not tracking any file. So if we want to start uh, tracking the file, uh, then we should add that file to the staging area. And then from the staging area, we can commit that file and that file uh, will become uh, unmodified. Okay, uh, so now that you have seen uh, the actual life cycle of the status of our files, uh, now uh, we are going to open up uh, a command line and here uh, I'm going to show you a few examples so you can uh, actually uh, understand those uh, concepts of uh, tracking and the staging uh, even better. So here, uh, as you can see, I'm uh, currently inside a project directory and if I write here ls command, uh, then I'm going to see that this uh, project actually contains uh, one file. And uh, if you have watched my uh, previous video about uh, obtaining uh, a git repository, uh, then you have already learned how to actually initialize a git repository and how to add and commit those files in that same repository. Now here we are using that uh, same project from the last video. And if I add here one command named uh, git uh, status, to check the status of our repository, uh, then you are going to see that uh, our working tree is actually clean. So now let's try and modify for example this uh, file.txt. So now I'm going to type here a start file.txt and then I'm going to just uh, write here some text. So here I'm going to write uh, some random text. I'm going to click Control S to save that file. Let's now close that and let's again check the status of that file. So type uh, git uh, status and now you are going to see here a message that says uh, changes not uh, staged for commit. So that means that uh, our file as you can see is now actually modified. So we have modified that file but this file is now not staged. Okay 
So if you want to stage that file and put this file in a staging area, uh, then you are going to need to type here a command, a git add, and the name of that file. So file.txt. And now if I try to type here again a uh, git uh, status command, uh, then you're going to see here a, a different message that says uh, changes to be committed. And then our uh, modified file has uh, changed the color here to green. Which means that now uh, our file is actually inside a staging area. And now we can successfully commit that file to our repository. So here just type uh, git commit. And let's add here uh, this uh, message. So file.txt modified. Press enter. Okay, so now let's uh, check the status again. So git uh, status. And now our working tree is actually clean. Because uh, we have successfully put uh, our uh, file.txt in a staging area. And after that we have uh, committed that uh, change to our repository. So now let me just uh, clean this uh, window here. So type uh, clear command. And uh, let's try and uh, create a new file in our repository. So I'm going to add here uh, one command touch. And let's create here a new file.txt. Let's check the status of this uh, repository now. So now as you can see, uh, this uh, file is actually not being tracked. Okay, so this file is uh, located in our working directory, but we are not uh, tracking that file. Okay, and now if we write here a command uh, git add and the name of that uh, new file that we want to put into a staging area. So press enter now. Now let's check the status again. And now you're going to see that uh, this uh, file is actually now located inside a staging area. So this file has been staged. However, uh, what do you think that uh, it will happen if we try now to modify this file before uh, committing that uh, change from before? So let's now uh, start this or open this uh, new file .txt. And now let's add here some text, for example, new uh, file. Let's uh, save that change. Let's go back and let's uh, check the status of this file once more. So now uh, we are going to receive here uh, two different uh, messages. And uh, here if you're seeing this for the first time, it uh, might look strange because uh, here it says that our new file is actually uh, staged and that the same file is not staged. So how can that happen? Uh, well, if you recall, uh, once we have created that file, we have immediately added that file to our uh, staging area. But before we committed that file, we have made uh, one change, okay? And that's why our uh, same file is uh, in both uh, staged and uh, not uh, staged area, okay? So now if we try to write uh, here a command, uh, for example, uh, git uh, add, and again we write uh, that uh, same name new file.txt. So if I execute this command, uh, then uh, this uh, new file or this uh, new modified file with that uh, text uh, will be put uh, inside a staging area. And after that, we can uh, commit that file. But uh, what if uh, we have decided uh, not to uh, commit uh, or uh, put this uh, new change or this uh, new modified file inside a staging area? Well, in that case, we can just type here, for example, uh, git commit. And I can write here a message, uh, first version of new file.txt has been committed. Okay, so now press enter. And let's now check the status again. So now you can see that uh, this uh, first message uh, has disappeared. We can now only see uh, this change. So this uh, new uh, change of our uh, new file.txt has not been uh, put inside the staging area. Which means that if you don't want this new change anymore, you can just basically discard that change, okay? And in order to do that, we can just type here uh, git restore a new file.txt. And now if I execute this command, then uh, this uh, modified uh, version of a new file uh, will be discarded, okay? So now let's execute that. Let's check the status once again. So git status. And now our working tree is clean. But uh, there is one more thing. So now if we try to uh, run this uh, file, so start a new file.txt, now you're going to see that uh, this file is actually empty. And the reason why is uh, because uh, we have discarded that uh, last uh, modified change of that file, and that uh, file is uh, no longer available. So only our first uh, version uh, of that file, which we have created uh, originally, 
is uh, committed uh, in our repository. And this uh, second uh, modification, which we have applied, has been successfully discarded. So uh, if you have uh, any questions uh, related to those uh, concepts of uh, tracking and staging, uh, feel free to leave a comment down below and uh, I will gladly answer to all your questions. Uh, nevertheless, uh, let's continue here again. I'm going to clean this uh, window now. And the last uh, thing that I want to show you here is uh, how you can uh, use uh, our uh, status command uh, even better. So, uh, for example, let's type here a uh, git uh, status and uh, you're going to see that uh, message that our uh, working tree is uh, clean. But now, uh, what if we add here a uh, git uh, status and we apply here one option named uh, s, which is a short for short. So we could write here uh, two forward slashes and write short and it will be the same. So now let's uh, apply this command. So let's use uh, this uh, s instead. And uh, here uh, you are not going to see anything. And the reason why is because our working tree is actually clear. So I'm going to clear this window. And now uh, let me just uh, start here uh, this uh, new file uh, .txt. I'm going to write here new file. I'm going to save that change. Control S. Close that. And now let's type here uh, git uh, status space uh, forward slash uh, S and press enter. So this is basically a short uh, version of this uh, status command, which uh, will allow us to check uh, all the changes without uh, needing to uh, see all those uh, information which uh, we uh, don't always need, okay? So this uh, M character means that this file uh, has been modified, okay? And if I try to now add this file, so git uh, add a new uh, file .txt, and if I execute this uh, status command once again, uh, then we're going to see again this uh, M uh, character, but now on the left side. And plus it will change its color to green. So this will mean that our file uh, has been modified, but also that our file has been added to our staging area. Now let's try and add here uh, a new file with the name of uh, example.txt. And now let's execute this uh, status command once again. So now uh, we are going to receive here uh, two question marks. And it will mean that uh, our uh, example.txt file is actually not uh, being tracked by our uh, git uh, version control system. So basically here uh, we have a uh, left and right side uh, of those characters. And the left side here uh, represents uh, and indicates uh, basically a staging area. And this uh, right side, like this one, indicates the working tree. Okay, so the right side is the working tree and the left side is uh, a staging area. And if you get the question mark for uh, one of those files, then it will mean that this file uh, is not being tracked by a git version control. Now, of course, you can use a regular uh, git uh, status command without uh, any option. And then you're going to see those uh, full messages of your uh, working tree. And uh, if you want to check and see some more options about this uh, git uh, status command, uh, then you can type here something like uh, git uh, status double forward slash and then help press enter and this will open up uh, the actual documentation for this uh, git uh, status command and then down below you can read and uh, check out uh, all options that are available for this specific uh, command so now here you can see that we have used this uh, first one so a short uh, option and it will give us the output in a short format now down below you can check some uh, other options as well. So this documentation is uh, pretty big and you can learn a lot uh, from that. So be sure to check out. Okay, so uh, for this video that will be all. And now you have learned uh, two important concepts about uh, Git version control. Uh, you have learned about uh, staging, about uh, tracking your files, uh, how to check the status of uh, your files and see uh, which file uh, has been modified, uh, which file uh, has been added to a staging area and other useful information. So be sure to comment down below if you have uh, any questions uh, related to uh, those uh, concepts uh, which I have explained in this video. Also, be sure to like this video if you find it uh, helpful, of course. And uh, see you in the next one.